Hi, that's Reefer here. Welcome to this new video. So winter is finally over, the days are getting longer, so I thought it was time for a new livestock review. The Q1 livestock review of my Red Sea Reefer tank. So, a lot has happened in the last few months. I have uh, bought quite some uh, new coral, as you might have seen in the monthly tank updates. Um, so. Today I'm going to walk you through the tank, uh, not just show you the updates, but show you all my livestock um, as we come across it. So let's start off in the middle. As you might have seen in one of my previous videos, I'm using mustic to feed the fish. And uh, well, as you can see, they're all flocking around it. They really like it. And they're doing really well on it. One of the corals that is uh, very appreciative of uh, of this mustic is this yellow gorgonian. Um, I've been asked by a few people what's it called. I think it's uh, called a rusty gorgonian. And other other than that, I can only find the name gorgonia sp, which is I think the normal species name for the gorgonians. So it's doing really well, especially when feeding mustic. The polyps are fully extending. As you can see, uh, a bit on the top you can see the structure of the, the the coral itself without the polyps. But then again the rest is very fluffy. And I'll show you a quick close-up. So you can see that these polyps are really looking very nice. It's enjoying itself. So right next to that is this Euphelia which I got I think one and a half years ago, it was just one head, somebody gave it to me or I traded it for, I think I gave somebody something and then he gave me this in return. So one of the, the clownfish is uh, really uh, liking it. I have two clownfish but unfortunately they have, uh, they're not always together because the other one has found another euphilia. So they're a bit divided between the other one and this one. Sometimes they're together, but most of the time they're each hosting their own, which is fine, of course. I mean, it's their choice. If they don't want to, then they can decide that for themselves. Another thing is that this Calastrea that I have had for quite a long time has uh, broken into two quite recently. Um, so, it, yeah, it looks like two balls now if you look closely, one on the left and one on the right. Um, and they're doing fine up here. They're nice and fluffy. Then some of the zoanthus that I, I've shown you in the previous videos. Still looking very nice. Happy. Then this one. I think it's called a Lepastrea. I bought it recently. And it's nice and orange. There's a bit of purple edges. And it's doing also doing quite well in my tank. Then this one you might have seen before. It's a bubblegum chalice and it's still doing okay. A few weeks ago I saw a little bit of damage right here. I don't know if you can see it. I think it's already healing pretty well. There was a little hole there. But it's healed already. Luckily, there was one coral that was growing next to it. That's right here. So that's the one I moved right here on the back. I didn't I didn't think it they were harming each other, but then I start, saw that the uh, the chalice was getting a little damaged, so I moved this one. And now the chalice has recovered and this one is also doing fine. Another coral that has recovered quite well is this uh, Gonio pora. Um, it has it had been doing uh, quite bad for a while. Um, somehow uh, it wasn't uh, happy where it was before, so I moved it to this spot, and right now it's uh, it's uh, yeah it's 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 all good again. Then this one keeps surprising me. This is a, a, a Rhodactis, I think, a soft coral. Uh, it used to be just normal Rhodactis shape, but it has developed some bubbles on it. It's quite uh, nice, uh, nice green. 
and uh, yeah it's doing fine over there and as you can see it's growing next to this red coral which also I think is a sort of chalice but it's growing uh, not in a plate but more like uh, it's growing over the rocks so yeah as you can see they uh, all mingle nicely here's a montipora which has been there before and they just start growing into each other and I'm sure one of them will eventually uh, win but uh, for now it's uh, they're doing fine they're not uh, killing each other completely so that's fine some other zoanthids right here that have been doing uh, have been expanding recently a torch that was once a golden torch but not so golden anymore still it's okay it's looking okay then there's another goniopora I think you might have seen this one before it's a normal red goniopora they seem to be the best choice if you're looking for a goniopora they are the hardiest uh, of gonios so if you Want to try one you haven't had one before or you're not sure if your tank is stable enough uh, to keep one just see if you can find a, an all red one they're usually the ones that uh, that do best and i also have a green one over here green yellowish it's also doing very well next to the duncan as you can see they're touching each other luckily it doesn't cause any uh, any damage to either of them no chemical warfare between them so that's actually really nice I like seeing them together they're both uh, they both have large polyps that are moving nicely in the current so I'm glad that they get along well and there's this trachyphilia which as you can see is quite fluffy it's uh, when I first bought it, it was a little damaged, but uh, as you can see it has almost completely f uh, healed itself. There's a little hole right here that has been there from day one. Luckily, it doesn't seem to be bothered by it too much. Then there's uh, this one. I think it's called Sinularia dura. Uh, you might have also seen this one before, but it has recently uh, shed its skin twice in quite a short time and as you can see right now it's getting uh, started to grow which it hasn't done for a very long time so it, on the edges you can now see that it's uh, starting to get new develop new tissue so I really like that because I really, overall I really like this coral so I'm glad it's doing well Something else I wanted to show you is the coral growing on my back. On the, not on my back, but on the back of the tank. It would be nice if I had coral growing on my back. And then it could just take it off. Uh, but, as you can see the green star polyp over here. It's taking over the entire back side of the tank. For now it's, it's okay. So you can see it like this. But once it starts reaching the edges of the tank then I'll have to trim it down but for now I like it it gives it a really natural look when you look at it from the front on the back here as well you can see some uh, uh, Rod I think Rhodactus indonensis I think they're called also ears mushroom type corals so when you look at it from the front you can see it's a massive uh, field of green and it's uh, enjoying the current that's coming from this uh, inlet so over here on top I have a Montipora which is a regular red Montipora it's not difficult to keep it's actually rather easy to keep uh, but it's uh, since I have a rather high nutrient tank it's good for me to keep a few of these pieces in the tank just to make sure that uh, the values, the, the nutrients are not getting out of hand. Once I see that this coral is deteriorating, then I know that something is wrong with my water quality. So it's a good indicator for me to see if my water is still fine.
Then a little to the left, this is a Milapora, which I recently bought. I always have uh, liked Milapora a lot. Um, I'm just trying to see if it's doing okay. It's a bit, uh, it has some tentacles out right now, it's because I fed the mastic. So I'm just curious to see where this goes, if it's, uh, if it's getting nice and fluffy, if it's staying that way or if it's growing even, I hope. But uh, let's see. On the, uh, the base you can see a little bit of Montipora. I think it's Montipora Superman or something, uh, something of the likes. Uh, it's a bright orange polyps and bluish growing, uh, growing uh, edges. So that's uh, looking nicely as well. Just very small spots, small patches, but it will eventually grow. If I'm lucky. So I'll zoom out a bit, and I'll show you some fish. Here are the Evansi Antias, which you might have seen before. Uh, they're swimming in a group. I had seven. One of them uh, did well, died pretty quickly after adding uh, adding them. They seemed to need to define the picking order between them. I think there were two uh, two of them which thought they were males, so they had to fight it out and uh, decide which one was the male. Well, one died, and now they're six. They have been together as a six uh, with their together for well about a, a month now, one and a half month. So I hope they will uh, they will stay together and not harm each other. Well, at least there are nice fish to see in the tank. They lighten up the tank, give a bit of color to it. Then this fox face, face, so fox face, had also grown uh, quite a bit in the past few months. I bought it when it was still really, really small. Uh, when I saw some um, bubble algae appearing, uh, bubble algae is uh, uh, quite a nuisance. It can develop pretty quickly, and uh, if you don't do anything against it, it can take over your entire tank. Um, so that's why I uh, bought this fish, and it it started doing its work straight away. So this is a, if you have bubble algae in your tank, you can consider one of these fish if your tank is large enough for it, um, because it will definitely like it. Then the sand cleaner right here, and of course the copper band, which I have dedicated an entire Focus Friday episode on. So if you're curious about this fish, I can recommend watching that video. So over here to the right side, there are somewhat so some corals that require somewhat less uh, current. Like this huge soft coral right here. I can show you the base, because you know it's all about that base. It's a... Uh, oh, there's a fish. It's, it's really grown so big over the last year. It was very small, I think only, uh, well at first it was barely, you could barely see it because I scraped off an old one, which I thought was dead back in the days, it's about three years ago, and then uh, when I removed it and threw it away, a few weeks later I think, hey, something is growing over there, and it was a few of these polyps, well as you can see now it has grown into this humongous beast, which is right here, and uh, well let's see how much time I'll give it before I'll uh, I'll frag it. When you want to frag one of these corals you can just take a sharp knife and just uh, cut pieces out of it, glue it on a rock and it will heal and eventually grow into an entire new colony. So yeah, I'm uh, quite pleased with this one. Then there's some other soft corals right here. This is a very big uh, Rhodactis. Not sure exactly what kind of Rhodactis this is, but I'd say a nice one. If you look at the structure, it's almost like there are a lot of other flowers growing on top of it, so that's why I really, uh, really like it. A lot of detail. I like the color as well. Blue, greenish. Then there's this soft coral. 
uh, which I bought like well, I think one and a half months ago. It comes from somebody else's thing, so it's not imported. It was uh, somebody uh, in the Netherlands fragged it and sold it to his local fish store, and then they uh, I bought it from them. I also like it because it's uh, green. It has a nice fluorescent color to it, especially under the under the blues in the evening. And it has also grown quite rapidly already. I think it has doubled in size in just one and a half months, or maybe grew 150%, something like that. This one I'm also rather proud of. It's a uh, Ricordia Yuma. And it's, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's orange, yellow, gold, give it a name. But I really like the, the structure and the color of it. And it's doing quite well. And there's some more Recordia right here. Blue ones, green ones, orange ones, you name it. And as you can see, they're developing new mouths as well. These are Recordia Florida, and the other ones, I, the other one I showed you was a Recordia Yuma. So moving up here, this chalice is also doing quite well. It's normal, it's light blue, not that special, but still, I like it. Some more Recordia to the right, some Zoantas on top here. Then there's two other corals growing on the back right here. One of them is a Cifastrea. Cifastrea. Uh, it's a green uh, green Cifastrea. As you can see in the middle, there's a, a bulge. That was the original frag that I uh, bought. Well, I think it's, it's a long time ago, maybe two years ago. Then I glued it to the back of the tank. And then it yeah, just started expanding from there on. On the right of it is a Montipora. As you can see, they already are touching each other so from here you can see it as well the multipora is growing uh, as it's growing both ways so against the back and also into the tank as you can see with the Cifastrea it's mainly keeping itself to the back of the tank So here's the spotted drum, which is also a nice fish, it can grow rather large. Now it's hiding behind there. Then here's some red blastomusa, which are also blown up pretty nicely. Tissue is looking healthy. There are new heads growing on there every few weeks. I can see some new ones appearing. On the back there is a Lobophilia, which I especially like because of the two different colors. So there's blue in the center and red on the edges. And right here is one of the Mandarin fish. I have two of them. This is the male one. You can see by the uh, the uh, thing he has on its back, the fin on its back, that this is the male one. There's also a female in there somewhere. So yeah, I think we had uh, we covered most of the uh, the content of the tank. I hope you. Uh, you got a nice view of what the tank looks like. I can definitely uh, recommend watching my other videos. I have quite a few on there. Uh, some of the some some subjects that I cover in depth, which are called the Focus Friday videos. I'm uh, making one every Friday, so feel free to check them out. And of course, you if you're not yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And uh, well. Uh, uh, that's it for now. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. <laughs>